by tuning in to Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hang.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Joan and Janet are subtle energy empaths who navigate consciousness. Their passion is to support you in your evolution. As consciousness, we are all one. One mind, one heart, free of all limitations. Experience this reality with us and discover how it can make a difference in your daily living. Join us in a state of grace as we explore, with warmth and humor, this thing we call life. Now, here are Joan Newcomb and Janet Barrett. Welcome to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your co-host, Joan Newcomb, coming to you from Tacoma, Washington, and my partner, Janet Barrett, is coming to you from Portland, Oregon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a nice, chilly morning. (laughs) The sun's out, but it's kind of cool here. Definitely. Yes, unless you're, you know, listening from... Yeah, the Bahamas. The Bahamas or something like that. In which case, we're, we're flying out to meet you. Yes. Today we are talking about bubbles, boundaries, and consciousness. Those people in the Bahamas are saying, we have boundaries, you can't come visit. (laughs) When we start to live life from heart space, boundaries disappear. And the perspective as consciousness is that it's a benevolent universe. Yet there's a lot of chaos and noise and pain and abuse going on out there in the world. How do we maintain our clear heart space, yet not be inside a privileged bubble with those around us that are experiencing a discordant reality. Ooh, okay, and you're going to explain all that later, but listeners, if you want to call in, it's always good to do it in the beginning, and that number is 1-844-390-8255. And we do have an invitation to extend to everyone to go deeper with us beyond the show, and what is that, Joan? Sure, and I always like to give people the phone number twice because they're grabbing their phones ah, their right. pens and everything. Good. What was that phone again? 1-844-390-8255. Great. Yes, the invitation to go deeper with us beyond the show is to come to our website, which is Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet dot com. Just like the show titled Conscious Conversations <laughs> with Joan and Janet dot com. You can listen to all our past podcasts there. You can have access to my website and Janet's websites. You can read our blogs. Janet writes fascinating things on Mondays, and I write fascinating things on Fridays. <laughs> you can find out about our meetups. You and I both do meetups. Uh, you do them twice a week in Portland, and I do them around the Puget Sound. Let me see. Um, my next one is going to be in. Uh, my next one's going to be in Seattle. Uh, uh, I'll be telling you about that in just a second. Let me see your sessions. We have sessions. We've got sessions. See Galley. And then also, you can follow the show on Facebook, Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. You can join the group and join the fun. You can also follow Janet on Facebook, Janet Barrett. I'm on Facebook, Joan Newcomb. We are on Twitter, if that's your preferred mode of social media. It's uh, at Joan and Janet. Because the other one was too long. And then mine is Joan M. Newcomb on, on Twitter. And then you can follow us on, on YouTube. Um, I always say that you can binge listen to us on YouTube because people like to go into heart space and bliss out. And also, I'm on YouTube. I put out a video once or twice a week that will surely get you thinking. So that's Joan M. Newcomb. Yeah, your mystic YouTube. moments are wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mystic Very moments. Good. I should change that. I say mystic minute, but it's really several yeah. minutes. So. Yeah, <laughs> they're moments. <laughs> and so the last couple of things I'll say here, and then and then you can tell them yeah. about the conscious conference call, is that um, the meetup that I'm doing is uh, in South Lake Union. It's on Sunday, December the 18th. But I'm also doing a webinar for folks tomorrow on the same topic. So those of you who don't live in the Puget Sound area, listen up. This is an opportunity to get up close and personal with me and listen to my stuff. And that is tomorrow, Thursday, December 8th at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll be talking about rediscovering your purpose and regaining your passion. And I'm also doing this live on Sunday, December the 18th. 
in Seattle at Uptown Espresso in South Lake Union. That's on the 18th at 2 p.m. So rediscovering your purpose and regaining your passion. We are all going through huge challenges now, and we're experiencing things like just this desire to change and feeling not like we fit into whatever we've done before. And we're still sitting at our jobs going, with this economy and everything, it would be crazy to quit our jobs but I just want to go, you know, I just want to go s- treat sea turtles in the Galapagos. So um, I will be talking about what those urges are and, and getting in touch with the essence of who you are, because that really is what we're being called in the world. We're being called to, to express ourselves and do what we're called to do. So you'll learn out more about that. And you can sign up on our website, Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. What's our other offering, Janet? Okay, next week, the third Thursday of the month, we always offer our free conference call, and it's at 7 p.m. on uh, Pacific Time, and that'll be on December 15th, and that's one way you can join us. We take the radio show Energy, and we just do it on, in a much smaller format, and we spend an hour with everyone that's on the line, and we just have the most wonderful experiences Whoever shows up, wherever we are in the world, and whatever time we are, we come together consciously. We choose to consciously come together and explore our attachments and the things that we're noticing and what's important. And just go for that heart-centered awareness and uh, always profound. And whether you fall asleep listening, as some do... It's, it, which is, is such a compliment, too, because people go to such a state of relaxation that they go to sleep, and that's wonderful. But, so, but, but people yeah. also chime in and have really fascinating oh, yeah. conversations and have really amazing great. things that they can contribute. So there's right. lots of reasons to stay awake during the call. Totally, well. totally. And since it's the holidays, you know, and that could be taxing, it can challenge us at times. It's a great way to it's self-love. It's self-nurturing to spend time with us. And I don't feel arrogant in saying that at all. It's the realization that we all need extra support during the holidays and with whatever else is going on in the world. So so make that commitment to yourself and do some self-nourishing and self-love and join us in. Join in with us. Self-love, not self-abuse. <laughs> That'll make you go blind. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. <laughs> I gave that up last week. So. So, listeners, if you're going to call in, it's 1-844-390-8255. So, back to our topic, Joan. Bubbles, boundaries. Bubble, boundaries, and consciousness. So, explain the bubble comment. Bubbles, boundaries, yeah. light, shining, breeze. Okay. So, bubbles. Okay. The comment about that is that there's there's an awful lot about um, people being out of touch because they're in their bubble. And there's, you know, big sections of the country that are in their their bubble of privilege. So Mm -hmm. they don't really identify with people who have to work. not in that bubble. I'm not in that bubble. They have to work three jobs. They're being judged for the color of their skin or they've got a headscarf or, you know, they've been here. Their family's been on this continent since they migrated over from the, from, over from Siberia in, uh, you know, several thousand years ago, but they're being told to go back to Mexico. So, um, you know, there's a lot of that going on in the world today and, and people, so, so we're being called to, to have sensitivity. We're being called to have compassion. We're being called to, to our connectiveness. And there are people having really extreme and painful time. And, you know, so the old forms of detachment can get you back into your nice little comfortable bubble of denial Mm -hmm. that, you know, everything's all fine and dandy. Um, And that's not the kind of, I mean, so actually it's not that I don't, there isn't a full answer to this. It's, It's more of an inquiry about, you know, how do you have a sense of definition as consciousness and not be in your little castle, white castle in the sky with your little mini burgers? 
Mm. No, it's really, it's really, uh, we use bubble, we use it a couple different ways then. I mean, it can be a bubble of isolation and privilege. It can be a bubble of awareness. It can be a bubble about a lot of different things. So for me, where I've been noticing this come up, especially in group, for instance, is that how do we maintain our integrity when those around us hold different viewpoints and how do we keep ourselves together and one way to do that is to is to allow yourself to be if you want to think of it in bubble but that that's your field of reference and that that's that's your aura you might use that word in some other traditions and that how to how to hold cohesively and so that's the way i would use the word bubble as i'm going to mean it that way so it's we got a lot of uh, approaches here that we're looking at and sharing with listeners. And um, what is your viewpoint of your bubble? What kind of bubble do you have? You can see them in all different colors and shapes and sizes. Interesting. Yeah. So there's a the slightly difference between you know the bubble and your aura and what your space is. And things like that. So we've got a lot to talk about, and we have to stop for a commercial break right now. But you're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. And stay tuned. We'll be talking about bubbles, boundaries, and consciousness after these messages. Would you like a fresh approach to the challenges you are dealing with? Take a journey into your enlightenment with Janet Barrett. Janet is a subtle energies empath accessing the field of potential with warmth, humor, and support. She will help you to hear what your inner voice is saying. She will share with you how to appreciate who you are now and offer you new ways to understand and transform your issues. Reach her at www.janetandbeyond.com. That's JanetAndBeyond.com. Again, JanetAndBeyond.com. Transformation is possible. You can enjoy new outcomes in your current experiences. They can happen in the blink of an eye. Is your soul calling you to do something more meaningful with your life? Do you feel crazy for wanting to quit your secure job? Perhaps you are waiting until you retire to do what you love. Maybe you are too daunted to follow your dream. If any of these match your life, then Joan Newcomb's Purpose and Passion Coaching Program is just for you. In just 12 weeks, you will discover who you essentially are and why you are here. Learn to live as your greater self and navigate with conscious mastery. Go to joan-newcomb.com. That's joan-newcomb.com for all of her coaching programs. Welcome back. You're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan. I'm along here with Janet, and we are talking about bubbles, boundaries, and consciousness. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's access heart and see where that takes us. And that's, you know, that and this kind of just, uh, you know, uh, consciousness is an expansive dynamic. When you put a bubble, you, you automatically get a boundary between something and something. So in consciousness, it's you know ever expanding. So it's kind of an interesting juxtaposition there. So let's just see about diving in and see what floats up to the top. Then <laughs> this will be fun. So you have anything you want to say before we do that, John? Uh, no, I think to the okay. bubble when we drop into heart space. Yeah, there we go. All right, everybody. So no matter where, what time, space, place you are, um, we invite you to join us as we just, that part of you that's paying attention can listen in, is listening in. And just allow yourself to feel that. There you go. And just let, oh, that's nice. Oh, that feels nice. Not even a sense of going in or going out or going someplace. It's just about allowing your awareness to open up. So as you allow your awareness to open up of your heart, 
and feel that awareness of appreciation and gratitude. So value it, that symbol of, that shows you are in this embodiment anyway. There we go. And then move into the more awareness of the emotional terrain. Just notice those things that are up and about. And there's a lot to be up and about. And there's a lot for you to be tracking about other people too. So we always want to notice for ourselves what you notice about your emotional energy. I have a feeling most of us are working through our stuff pretty good. So we just always want to keep updating our awareness of being present and what that how is that different from a moment ago. And we hold our expectations so strongly sometimes about we expect to feel a certain way or think a certain way and that really falls away when we do this work. So just notice. There we go. And then the core, the essence of all. Open that awareness up. But we're all one. We lose the individuality. It's just busy with photons of light and bio photons with a little bit of matter to them. And they're those frequencies and vibrations and movement and lack of movement. Where information is present. Your stories, the stories you know about, the stories you don't know about, the information. How you've just got it all organized within your sphere of influence, your fields of reference. And just notice, be okay with it, don't judge it. And in that infinite sea of potential, where everything starts to soften, and the wiggle room is there, and all the variables show up, and notice if you have a feeling there. Don't make it something, just allow it to come into your awareness, whatever it is. And in this place, you can also notice the ripples. See if you can notice the ripples. And notice how your ripples interact with other ripples. And something new presents itself. And there's a lot of agitation in the world. And this is not agitation. This is ripples. Like the ocean. And there's what feels like a lot of confusion. So just, just notice it. That's, I think, what transition is, transcending is. Up is down and down is up. Inside is outside and outside is inside, if you're going to use placement. All right, Joan, what you noticing? I agree with you with your observation of all what's going on in the world and the sense I was getting. Um, usually when I drop into heart space with you, it feels like I'm riding on a raft down a lazy river. And for some reason today, it was more like um, standing as this orb of light or ball of light with all this... Um, it's chaos. It, it, it's kind of like someone took the snow globe and shook it up. 
Yeah. And um, and it felt uh, it 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 feels like there's this whole swirl of you know burning pieces of paper kind of thing. And we're in the middle of that. We are in the middle of it, yeah. and everyone yeah. is releasing all their historic patterns. And, uh, you know, I could place myself on a street in Aleppo with this sensation. I could anywhere else. And so what it feels like to me is um, this is all that's being released. And uh, it's not to match what is being released. So not to go into the chaos or not to match the chaos, Mm -hmm. not to sink down into the deep despair of, which is a very natural reaction to things that are changing. Mm -hmm. Um, So how to hold my light in this so that people can see uh, through the burning embers, through the Mm -hmm. shrapnel or whatever is going on here uh, to, to how to see the way clear for themselves. Right. So it's not not being compassionate, but it's how to hold that greater light. And as I'm talking, you know, we all have that greater light within us. Mm -hmm. And how any of you can get through the chaos you might be experiencing in your lives is that, you know, you've got your own inner flashlight. (laughs) Yeah. what it is. Yeah. I think it's important to realize that we're okay. Excuse me, that this comes from a place of, it's kind of like doing re-entry, I imagine. You know, any space vehicle comes back down to Earth, right? And it's got that fire that, that they've got to go through to get to that, through that atmosphere to get back to this place. And um, it, it's, so, you know, yes, there's a lot of shaking going on and there's a lot of noise and there's a lot of whatever there is or lack of noise. I don't know what the sound is in a capsule. Um, but that it's like this will work and it will work. And if it doesn't, then that doesn't mean there's failure. That just means that it's something else and it's a moment of transition and you know we had been commenting earlier you had been mentioning how you felt a lot of things were kind of coming to pass at this time and whether that meant a physical passing or in death or whether it was just the metaphorical death of our illusions and helpful things or not helpful things whatever it was and the and that we're in this kind of like riding the we're in the canister, I guess. It kind of feels like I can see the burning flame going past the window. Well, we have an opportunity at this time to create a different experience. Mm-hmm. And it feels even more chaotic right now because we're simultaneously experiencing all these aspects that are being either disintegrated or released. And we're also energetically feeling like we're straddling parallel universes. There's a weird kind of mm-hmm. schism going on. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of us, you know, woke up the next morning and we were in an alternative universe that we had not mm-hmm. been heading in. Mm-hmm. You know, sliding doors. We got off the train or on the train and it was the wrong train. And I, when greater consciousness comes into the world which is what we're all experiencing is us as greater consciousness coming into the world. You have the opportunity to go off script. You have the opportunity to improvise. And therefore, you may look like you and the world you're in is going along a particular path, but you can create detours. You can find yourself thinking you're on, you know, I-5 and really you're on the monorail at Disneyland. Well, and that's, you know, it's very clear for me that that train, you know, if we want to use that metaphor, um, the train was something I created, right? And me as Janet in this body and with some input from consciousness i'm sure because they bleed well so well together but it's 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 my like my train of expectations and 
so when you use the word that we got off track or it's the wrong train, for me, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? It, it, it's, a, it's a place where, oh, okay, if nothing ever changed, that's that train. But if things did train, change and or they had a the potential was applied, then it can be this way. And so for me, that's uh, something I embrace. And I'm not holding out that it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. It's just, oh, something different. So I have that. And that kind of cushions me. You know, I think that's where that sense of okay is for me, is that wherever I find myself, it's all right. I may not physically like it, but I'm all right. Well, the part of you that's all right is the part of you that is consciousness. Yes, totally. And yeah. that is right. beyond time and space that is is the <laughs> all so that part of you is all right because it's immortal and yeah. it's not going to die nope. it views all of this as an adventure and density and effort so it is has a sense of amusement your physical form might be going i'm not going to make it till christmas you know whatever <laughs> yeah this is gonna kill me so you know that bodies have a very extreme reaction to things. Bodies aren't going to make it out of this lifetime alive, so they take everything very seriously. So it's kind of a time for you as consciousness to take charge and take care of your body. And I would say that you didn't create, you didn't create, necessarily create this reality as your body personality. You create, definitely have your experience of this reality with your body personalities solidified impressions of what this reality is but the entire game was designed by you as consciousness mm -hmm. yeah no i do that's always it's always our interface with ourself right right <laughs> yeah and it goes back and forth all the time and i think that's you know i'm so taken with that the value of noticing the little changes and one that it keeps coming to mind is like Standing Rock and the veterans who were apologizing to the Indians for whatever transgressions that we've held culturally, right? And you go, whoa, that is really neat because official government policy is you pretty much don't apologize for anything. And um, so you see people taking action looking to admit that it may not have been their personal experience, but they can see where they were part of this experience and that we could have done it differently perhaps. And there is something to apologize for. And that's always key to it being received, right? And I just look at these seemingly small things and how they start to add up. And uh, do that for myself and with others. Well, that's a great example of how things are happening outside the box. Yeah. You know, like that that siege came to a standstill and started to reverse. Mm -hmm. And you had this apology, which is kind of unheard of. Mm -hmm. So it shows that within the madness there is evolution happening and it shows that things that are coming up could actually be reversed or, you know, wake up the next morning and it's a different storyline. It kind of reminds me of a bunch of script writers, um, you know, working on sweeps week and what kind of, you know, curveball they can send us next. Mm -hmm. It becomes interesting and amusing unless you're out there in Standing Rock you know, having already been shot with rubber pellets and yeah. frozen and yeah. they've stolen your kayak. So, yeah. yeah. So, it, <clears throat> yeah. So fasten your seatbelts because it's uh, it's going to be exciting. Well, and I think, you know, in terms of boundaries, which is interesting is for, with Standing Rock, for instance, because it's all about boundaries. It's where, where a pipeline is going, right? And so it's the boundary of what is safe and what is not safe. Boundaries can show up in so many different ways within each of us and in our world around us. And so often we're not really aware of them 
or we take them for granted. And, you know, we're always talking about or outside the hologram, which is the box, which is the boundary of how we decided who we are each. And what we want to always be aware of is when we're within that boundary or when we're on the other side of the boundary or where there is no boundary finally, which is what we had talked about originally about consciousness. There is no boundary. You lose it when you enter into this heart-centered awareness. So a lot of people probably are just having new experiences of what they could count on not being there anymore. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but it might be confusing. It might be kind of nervous energy about it. There's a lot of things that people might be experiencing that dynamic as. Yes. And, um, yes, and the other thing that occurred to me is that we're all experiencing a heightened sensitivity to the degree, to the degree that none of us have ever experienced before, you know, and mm-hmm. I was yeah. a professionally cha- strain, <laughs> strained, <laughs> a professionally trained psychic, you know, so I should be used to telepathic, you know, input. <laughs> And yet, you know, yesterday morning, it's like, oh, there's my brother seeing my post on Facebook, you know, 3,000 miles away. And there's my son, da, 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 you know. And, you know, so it's becoming easier for me to discern. But for someone who's never had this before, it probably is gobsmacking them. Could be. Yeah, so that's something we want to, we want to know increase our awareness of is how what's new showing up for each of us whether it's more of a psychic intunement or how are you noticing change and making it user friendly in your world and empowering it to be growth and a positive thing and not because we want to play the game of right and wrong but in how it's enriching your life and uh and how in letting go of something you know it's kind of like little children you they want something and so you, they can't have it because you know for some reason we know that it's it's not in their best interest so we distract them we present something else and they'll go to it they'll f- totally forget what they were directed they'll just go to whatever the new thing is and that we're that way you right know? you can do that with your own body with your own yeah. self. It, you know, with little, yeah, exactly. They fall over. They don't know whether to cry or not. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yes, make it I, good. Make it, make it a new positive, uh, reinforcement for ourselves. Right. So I wonder what happens when people become compassionate. And they hadn't held that as a value before. Oh, I see. Before I say, Janet, you don't, you don't know what it's like when people become compassionate. <laughs> That's right, because Janet's just always nasty. <laughs> She's Cruella de Vil. Um, <clears throat> yeah. yeah so, you know what I mean in the sense yeah. of how how many of those veterans out there who we appreciate so much their actions right. would have said that about themselves two months ago or six months ago or a year ago. You know, was that out of character to them? And out of character might be a really good thing, everybody. So if you start acting out of character, (laughs) how exciting is that? Didn't know you had it in you. We'll presume that it's for the better good of everyone and yourself. Well, you know, and an example of that, too, in acting out of character could also be letting go of those aspects of your character that have been holding you back. Yeah, yeah. So, and, you know, for instance, see it that way, right? Maybe your mm-hmm. own experience was it that, that those were good things, but in actuality, maybe they weren't holding you back. Yeah, there's, you know, maybe you aren't used to taking responsibility for your life. You know, somebody tells you there's a door out there, and instead of like reaching out for the door and pushing it or pulling it, you're like, I don't know if I can touch that door because I don't know if I can push or pull it. And it's yeah. like, Take responsibility and do that yourself. So, you know, that's all of us are stepping up to a a greater level of personal power in the world. And with great power comes great responsibility. You are the creator of your reality. And anything that's not in alignment with that is disintegrating. But first, it might really become extreme. 
You know what came up last night, certainly with group, was uh, this conversation. Uh, what comes to mind and what you're talking about is reminding me that we're so busy sometimes we haven't noticed how we're showing up. We haven't noticed our hardening. We haven't noticed our armoring. We haven't noticed our protective behaviors. We haven't noticed those things because they just were where we were in that state of of comp, coping or compensating or wound or whatever it is. And what's happening is that people are aware the lack of self-love came up. And when we started to notice it in that way, what changed for people? And what was interesting is because we love to use the moving into realities, you know, like you like your parallel universe games there. And it was like, okay, so this is where you are right now, and where is it that you think you want to be? What would that feel like? You know, nobody moved and and what it was in the context was that this is the state of reality where you can experience self love and nobody moved so they got that they were in the perfect place to experience self love that was really important i thought it felt really wow so no matter how turbulent we were all describing our lives and experiencing everything, we were in the perfect place to experience self-love. How powerful is that? It, it is because it, it may mean that you don't have to do anything overt. <laughs> you don't have to do a, a, yeah. ge- a geographical cure. You don't have to lose a hundred pounds or get your hair cut or any of that. It be right there in the present moment. You are adored Mm -hmm. by yourself as essence, as your essence loves you unconditionally, appreciates you completely. You're just adorable. And and there was also everyone else in the group holding that right. Yes. So it, it, there, you, we, none of us were alone in that. It, that was the state of the awareness of the group. So you have our each uh, was having our experience that this was the reality for everything to happen, and it was being shared. And it was just, you know, I can use the word precious because it it was precious awareness. So. We'll see how that plays out for all of us. So, listeners, wherever you are, whatever time and space, what if you got that this is the moment? There is no other moment for you to be able to love yourself. And in loving yourself, how that ripples out around you. And it's not what you have, and it's not what you think you want, or like Joan's talking about. There, there's no conditions. Does none of that matters? If you recognize yourself as consciousness, and how precious that is, and it's right in this moment, and you don't have to do a thing, and we'll all hold that and share that with you. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's reminding me of when I really have gotten in touch with my essential preciousness, as you say it is, mm-hmm. you know, loving myself, I love my life, I love the universe, and I recognize that everyone is precious. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone is the mm-hmm. most special, most adorable. You, you, The entire world is is a creation of love, and you can see that in everyone. Mm-hmm. Even whether, they, however, they much recognize that in themselves, or however they're showing up, and whether they're in a sense of what you hold as good and evil or mediocre or any of those things, you know, you have to appreciate that that spark is present in some realm and in some way, and it may be really buried, <laughs> or it may be very. <laughs> present you know and that they radiate just that so we're all different places with that and how is whatever is 
the negative, you're perceiving it as that, um, really the opportunity. Because like you said, it's everything in that moment is all right in your world. And there's a lot of different things that physically, you know, in, in your embodiment would say, mm, not really. And, but yes, it is. And if I can reframe that, if I use that skill to, to look at it and go, okay, let me pull back here a little bit. What am I getting out of it? Oh, well, I like to be resistant. I like to fight. I like to, you know, so just notice it. Yeah. That's self-awareness. And that is an act of self-love. Being self-aware. Yes. And actually that, that has occurred when you're aware of yourself as consciousness, you start to realize that this hologram, you know, is an adventure in density and effort. And you might be in the middle of a protest. You might be, and you're in the midst of that exhilaration and all that conflicting energy. And that aspect of you is excited by it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Your your mother isn't excited that you're there, but <laughs> your essence is excited by it. Definitely. Well, what do we notice out there in the world now? How's that feeling? Oh, it's starting to ripple out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, everyone who's paying attention. I can feel that difference. Yeah, I realize that this show has a ripple effect out into the world and each person listening to it, whether or not you're listening to it while it's live or you're listening to a podcast or you just came across this on YouTube, you know, and it's three years old or whatever, Mm -hmm. you are co-creating in the moment and you are um, creating a resonance out into the world and a ripple effect out to the world. So um, it is pretty powerful. So here, here's something we could all do together. Um, how about each of us think of one person? Okay, think of one person. And then if it seems easy enough, think of two. But maybe think of three people. And think of three people that come to mind. And what if they could hear this show? Now, don't judge whether they can accept it or do it or they wouldn't relate. Any of that. Those are all conditions you're putting on it. Just notice the three people, for instance. And what would they be like if they could hear this? And you knew that it would make a difference whether you could see it or not. So we're letting go of all our preconceptions and notions about those people. But those are the three people that came to mind. And just share. So you don't have to go anywhere or do anything. Just allow yourself to extend what you're feeling out there to them. And what if it had the ripple effect of where it was the three of them now become nine? Because it'll affect they that they come in contact with. And just allow it to see it progressing out into the world. That's it's a little bit like the shampoo commercial, commercial one person tells one person and the other person. <laughs> so sit with Janet's uh, exercise right now because you are creating that ripple effect out into the world. And we have to stop for a commercial break, uh, but we will be right back and uh, with a lot more information. So you're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. And we'll be right back talking about bubbles, batteries, and consciousness. Would you like a fresh approach to the challenges you are dealing with? Take a journey into your enlightenment with Janet Barrett. Janet is a subtle energies empath accessing the field of potential with warmth, humor, and support. She will help you to hear what your inner voice is saying. She will share with you how to appreciate who you are now and offer you new ways to understand and transform your issues. Reach her at www.janetandbeyond.com. That's JanetAndBeyond.com. Again, JanetAndBeyond.com. Transformation is possible. You can enjoy new outcomes in your current experiences. 
They can happen in the blink of an eye. Is your soul calling you to do something more meaningful with your life? Do you feel crazy for wanting to quit your secure job? Perhaps you are waiting until you retire to do what you love. Maybe you are too daunted to follow your dream. If any of these match your life, then Joan Newcomb's Purpose and Passion Coaching Program is just for you. In just 12 weeks, you will discover who you essentially are and why you are here. Learn to live as your greater self and navigate with conscious mastery. Go to Joan dash newcomb.com that's joan dash newcomb.com for all of her coaching programs you are listening to conscious conversations with joan and janet to reach our program please send questions and comments to conscious with joan and janet at gmail.com that's conscious with joan and janet at gmail.com now Back to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Welcome back. You're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan, along here with Janet. We've been talking about bubbles, boundaries, and consciousness, and Janet was leading us through an exercise where we were bubbling out into the world. (laughs) Rippling out, yeah. (laughs) Baking soda helps with that. Yeah, it does. does. We need that base base mineral there all right yeah so how are we doing with that I'm, I'm feeling better so um i think i think i as consciousness i realize that so much is all about illusion and a lot of us don't know what to do with information we don't know how to admit change we don't know how to apologize we don't know how to do a lot of things and or do it well or easily or effortlessly and that this is the time when we kind of get to clear the decks about all that uh we were noticing some other areas of being able to um apologize i guess that's why the standing rock thing is coming up to me because there was apology there and a lot of us don't know how to apologize i don't know where i learned it um, I don't know that I do it well. I don't know that I, to, to say I'm sorry, um, comes from a place of, hmm. Well, so, usually, Janet, you're covering right. like a lot of different topics right yeah. now as we're sliding into home. So, um, something to notice there. Something there. to notice. Yeah. And the other thing is, you know, with, with the, this being an illusion mm-hmm. to your, to your body, this is absolutely real. And, yeah. and it is a, it is a reality to physically experience. And so it's not an illusion like it's um, like it's fake, but it's no, it's no. it's it's a physical reality. And when you're aware of yourself as consciousness, you're aware that it's also malleable. That it is something that can be shifted and changed or experienced differently. So, yeah. and yeah, just like the apologies and and that would that's a topic for a whole other story. I, I for a whole other show. It probably is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we need to let everybody? I'm, I want to tell people about what's coming up next week. Oh we yeah. We have a wonderful guest next week. Her yeah. name is Robbie Holtz. She is an intuitively guided practitioner of self healing, and she's a consultant and also an award winning author of two books: The Secret of Aboriginal Healing. And then the secrets, Aboriginal secrets of awakening. So she has followed the ancient Aboriginal principles and healed herself of hepatitis C and fibromyalgia. And her late husband was a quadriplegic and he was able to regain feeling and increased movement in his paralyzed body by working with the Aborigines. Yeah. Yeah. So she, she's going to tell us all about that. And also if you want to look her up in preparation for the show, she offers one-on-one sessions, online self healing courses, and uh, she does speaking and there's videos on her site and her website is holtzwellness.com. And that is spelled H O L Z wellness.com i'm looking forward to talking to her next week well we we are because we can really feel the need for deep old wisdom which is aborigines are 
that's you know 60,000 years old of how man is in the world and on earth and in the heavens and she may be prefacing that in the sense of healing the body perhaps because you know we haven't really had a chance to talk with her yet but I'm so looking forward to having that energy resonate in our radio show field like the whales like all this deep deep wisdom that is available to us and we need to call back into our awareness. So really looking forward to talking with her. Yes. And to remind folks, an invitation to go deep with it, with us <laughs> and connect with us beyond the show is you can always find us at our website, www.consciousconversationswithjoanandjanet.com. You can listen to podcasts of the show there. You can read our blogs, the interesting things that Janet and I write about each week. We have meetups around the Puget Sound. I'm in Seattle, Bellevue, Tacoma, University Place and other places. And Janet is twice a week in Portland in the comfort of her very beautiful, comfortable home. And then we offer sessions. Actually, I forgot to mention this, but um, I normally just do eight and 12 week sh- uh, coaching programs. But because of all the chaos going on right now, I'm offering just, I am offering single shot sessions so you can find out more about those and I have a special technique for people who are feeling a little bit discombobulated now so uh, if you sign up for my uh, weekly writings that you'll you'll be able to uh, get that handy little training video I'm also doing webinars uh, webinar tomorrow on purpose and passion rediscovering your purpose and regaining your passion and that's tomorrow Thursday December 8th at 3 p.m. Pacific that's for people who can't make it in person. I am doing an in-person one in Seattle on December 18th. That's a Sunday at 2 p.m. And that is at the Uptown Express Espresso in South Lake Union. You'll discover about how to rediscover your purpose and regain your passion in life. You might be feeling all discombobulated. As I said, you might be feeling, why do I feel like I'm a lawyer? Why do I feel like quitting my job and becoming a raking master? That just makes no sense. No, it makes absolute sense, and you'll find out why. And, Janet, we have something fun coming up, too, for the kitties. Oh, yeah. We have our free conference call next week, December 15th, the third Thursday of the month at 7 p.m. Pacific, which is a great opportunity to get up close and personal, experience heart-centered awareness with a group of like-minded people that are immediately present, and you can talk to them and share with all of us, uh, or not, whatever, however you'd like to participate, but you can really feel it and profound deep things happen there and um, we want to make sure that you know that whatever you're going through you are not alone and there are those in your world who might not understand but you can come to us because we'll we'll go "Uh uh-huh yep (laughs) been there do that that t-shirt's a rag so we might as well enjoy each other at the same time right you can sign up for that at our conscious conference and, you know, you can email us at consciouswithjoanandjanet at gmail.com if you want to sign up that way as well. So we and, have lots and, of ways be, to contact and us. I'm going to make a plug here for, for Joan's webinar and the passion and purpose and passion. You know, you no matter where you are in life, it never hurts to take time to reevaluate and check and see how you're doing. And you'll enjoy yourself with Joan and what she's doing there. And all of you in the Puget Sound area, you're fortunate to have her available. She spends a great deal of her awareness being with people to give them a place to come together and share share in what life is precious about. So always Thank you do that especially the holidays you know i mean any time of year it's good but well it's it's a lot of fun because people who come to my meetups they learn a technique for stepping into parallel universes and then they go home and their entire life transforms (laughs) (laughs) and people have been coming back to the meetups and going this miraculous thing happened to me or i can't explain why this happened to me and all i'm sure you know people who come to your meetups have that same experience it's a yeah, subtle yeah. but very profound. Subtle but very profound. Yeah, we can we can come weekly here, and so for those that do, you know, you really see an evolution of a soul and and consciousness at play, and we sometimes just kind of look at ourselves and go, oh my gosh, look how 
look at, could we have imagined this a year ago or five years ago? And, and no, we couldn't have. So, uh, we appreciate that. So, however, you want to do it, everybody. There is, there are those out there. Find them, enjoy them, share life, and, uh, you know, twinkle those toes a little bit. Yeah. And I just want to remind folks that no matter when you're listening to this, your essence has created this show. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not catching it live, you're catching it as a podcast. You have, as essence, created this experience for yourself and that there's been something here for you to listen to. Uh, and just want to value, value, yeah, you validate you and value you for listening. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. Everyone, thank you yes. so much. You've been listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet, and I'm your host, Joan Newcomb. And I'm Janet, so take care. Tune in next week, same time, same channels. You've been listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. And thanks so much for helping to co-create the show, no matter if you're listening live or on demand. You energetically contribute to our collective experience. Joan and Janet love to hear from you and invite you to email your comments and ideas for them to explore each week. Contact them at ConsciousWithJoanAndJanet at gmail.com. Tune in next week for another great show. And until then, keep enjoying this wonderful adventure we call life. Life.